What's going on everybody? It's just another day in the kitchen, back with another episode, and today we're talking about a controversial Nike lawsuit that's got the sneaker world upside down. Yup, you read that correctly, Nike actually just hit Bape with a lawsuit after 20 years of the Bapesta being in production. If you're not familiar with what those are, those are those patent leather sneakers right there that you can see, and let's dive into it. Now the iconic Bapesta silhouette with the patent leather has been around for over 20 years and anybody in the sneaker world as well as hip hop culture has seen them. It's actually really shocking that Nike would just now, like I said 20 years later, hit Bape with a cease and desist and they're actually demanding three times the profits, but unfortunately it's not the first time we've seen Nike go after creators. Just last year, Nike hit content creators Cool Key and Omi with separate trademark infringement lawsuits claiming that their sneaker creations were way too similar. I'm about to put them up on the screen for you to judge, but basically per the lawsuits, they're saying that these brands have been knocking off and cheapening the Jordan brand, and honestly, I kind of get where they're coming from just in the sense that both Cool Key and Omi are using the same silhouettes, etc. However, with the success of Bape over the last 20 years, it made me question how was Bape allowed to get away with it, and we're going to kind of take a look at that right now. And just for example's sake, in terms of the trademark infringement, I did want to point out that you can copy up to a certain extent. You do have to change certain features, but like you can see, Nike is basically claiming that all of these creators are straight up copying. Now one point that Omi did bring up, which I agree with, is why is Nike not going after Mike Amiri and the Amiri brand, just because you can see those Amiri ones are very similar to Air Jordan ones, but that's another conversation, and let me know what you guys think. Now in order to understand why the Bapesta was so legendary and the iconic silhouette is still around 20 years later from now, we have to go back to the early 1990s. Nigo had just moved to Tokyo and was a young and budding DJ who was super influenced by hip hop culture and he was super into fashion. He also knew that by creating a limited amount of pieces every time he dropped it would give off the illusion that he had a high fashion brand on his hands just like the brands that he looked up to would do. The Bapesta ended up dropping in 2002 and the rest is pretty much history. I know when I first used to see it on feet, I didn't quite understand how they were able to get away with it, but I figured it was actually a collaboration with Nike after all these years, but as you can see from this latest lawsuit, it's definitely not true. Based on the images from the lawsuit, Nike is basically alleging that Bape is copying both the Nike Air Force One, the Jordan Dunk Low One, and the Air Jordan One High and Low. Personally, I think it's been way too long that they've allowed Bape to do this, and I don't really understand why now in particular. Now, per the argument, Nike says that because Bape over the last few years has been producing the sneaker more and more, that's what's basically getting on their nerves. It's kind of it's kind of ironic that Nigo was able to operate under the radar over the last 20 years because the drops were so limited, and now because Bape is more popular than ever, that's basically why Nike's going after them now. Now one key crazy component of this Nike lawsuit is that they're actually demanding three times the profits that Bape has seen over the last 20 years. So the, again, they're alleging that Bape basically stole remnants of the Nike Air Force One, made it themselves, and now they're demanding three times what Nego has actually made in profits. Now I think it's a big shame that Nike has decided to go after him just because his legacy is undeniable and ever since he clicked up with Pharrell and Kanye in the early 2000s, the influence of Bape has never stopped. As you can see, he was super in with them from an early onset and even after linking up with Jacob the Jeweler, the jewelry game has even never been the same. Nigo, like I said, has been super influenced by hip hop and I think it's dope that he was able to find a way to also leave an imprint as well as a lasting legacy. And for those of you that didn't know, even Biggie had his hands on this Bape uh, hoodie right here. Now personally, some of my earliest memories of anybody wearing Bapes were on Lil Wayne himself right here back in like the early 2000s and mid 2000s. I even had the MySpace layout that was dedicated to the Bape camo. And of course, I couldn't do anything without mentioning Soldier Boy, who of course had the song Bapes. And like I said, Bapes were literally a force to be reckoned with, whether they were the Bapes does on feet or the camo hoodies, somebody had them on. Now one thing I think is also curious, um, just over the next coming weeks, is the fact that Bape in their history have also collaborated with brands like Puma and Adidas, so I wonder if those brands are also going to be stupid like Nike and try to hit them with something. Those may have been official collabs, so I'm not too sure, but again, I just wanted to make this video to point out something I think is pretty crazy and honestly just get your guys' thoughts on this. 
Now, if you made it this far in the video, I just wanted to say thank you so much for your attention and thanks for watching. If you personally own Bapestas and you still wear them, let me know. If you personally had favorite pairs back in the day, let me know. And let me know if you're still rocking with Bape. I know over the last few years the relevancy has kind of faded, but there's no denying they've been around for a long time and that's for a reason. So shout out to Bape, shout out to Nego, and shout out to any young creators out there that are still trying to figure out what the next move is. Thanks for watching guys and stay safe. Thanks for cooking with the kitchen. Peace.